for the today the start of the NFL season, I'm going to show you how to make brunch potato skins. This is going to be a potato, brown potato, that I'm going to bake, split in half, scoop out all of the potato, and then we're going to insert it in scrambled eggs, bacon, and cheese. So it's going to be more protein and less carbs. All right, we're starting with brown potatoes. We're going to turn the oven on to 450, and we're going to wash the potatoes first, put them on a pan, and put holes in the sides of them, um, just on each side of them. And we're gonna cook them for an hour on each side, 450. Okay, after two hours, the potatoes are done. It's time to split them and uh, pull out the middle. Alrighty, everything has been scooped out, the contents of those. If you wanna use them for mashed potatoes or something, you can, they're not part of this process. This is what you're gonna have. There's just this well, a little bit of potato left in the shell. To make them a little more rigid, you're gonna put a little bit of butter in here before they go back in the oven. This will sort of fry the inside of it and give it a little more structure to hold what we're gonna fill with. So just take like a quarter or half stick of butter, whatever you need, and just give it a little rub on the inside. <clears throat> And they go back in at the same temperature. Going back in at 450. While those are in the oven, we're going to start the scrambled eggs. Already, I've already cooked the bacon, set the bacon aside, and I mix two cheeses. You can use whatever you like. I just prefer mixing two cheeses. And I got those staged, waiting on the eggs to finish. And then we'll load them up. Alrighty, when these are done, they should pretty much be like this. They should be kind of kind of crispy and be able to hold their own. So when you load them, they're not going to be soft like they were when I scooped out all the potatoes. All right, now it's time to load them. Everything is done. I'm going to put some of the cheese on the bottom of a little bit of each one of these prior to putting in the eggs instead of putting it all on top and having it spill over the sides. So... This is how I did it last time. It was pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese to the top of the eggs. When I made the cheese or the eggs, I did not have any uh, cheese in the eggs, so they weren't. They were just regular eggs, and I mixed a little bit of. Uh, I only had eight eggs, and I used some egg beaters that I had, so it's a little bit of both. You can choose which whatever you have. Okay, these are loaded. I topped them with bacon, and uh, they're going to go back in the oven at 450 just for a couple minutes to get the cheese melted. Everything is actually already cooked. So, okay, these are done. These took three hours from start to finish. Two hours were in the oven. Very good. Enjoy your football.